building class went into another lecture video for city on battery building systems design. Once again, I am Arthur. And today we will discuss the technical specifications. So going back to our lecture, so technical specifications is a part of the contract documents that uh, we render no, or we give to our clients uh, whenever we render our service. <clears throat> so ito yung pang apat no, na part ng mga contract documents. And it is always in plural, no, no specifications, kasi madani yung uh, part ng technical specifications. So tatlong part yan, general, summary, and then the uh, installation or the execution. So what are technical specifications? These are printed description of the work to be done. So if the drawings are the graphical representation ng uh, project or how you want to build, yung detalye, ang technical specifications will outline kung anong klase ng material, anong quality ng material, paano may store ang material, at paano may assemble yung material para dun sa isang certain project. No? So technical specifications and the drawings are complementary. No? So they go hand in hand. Sabi niya nila, uh, construction projects use different kinds of different methods, products, and installation method. But it's common to all the need for effective teamwork by the many parties involved to ensure the correct and timely completion of work. Efficient information organization and implements and has significantly when a standard file system is used by everyone. No? yung mga pagkakaskrib nila sa specifications. So, uh, I will uh, reiterate uh, ating technical specifications hindi yung mga text na nakalagay doon sa elevation or doon sa cross-section ng isang drawing. So, hindi ito yun. These are material Fallouts no? or finishes fallouts. Bakit no? siya specifications? Kasi hindi niya dinirescribe no? yung quality ng material and the uh, workmanship or how is it going to be installed in the project. Specifications. Uh, these are uh, notes no, that define the quality of materials and workmanship and establish the scope of the work and describes the responsibilities of the constructor. Ano daw ba ang quality ng isang specification? No? Uh, it should be clear and concise, maikli, pero makabuluhat contains as few words as necessary. Remember that this is a uh, technical instruction. So this is not a descriptive uh, text. No? Hindi ito parang gumagawa ng story. But instead, you should outline the specifications clearly and concisely and it should be adequate in scope. No, madaling basahin at nakocover niya dapat yung uh, lahat ng topic for that certain material. Now, there are two types of uh, technical specifications no, na pwedeng gamitin according to the uh, ASTM or the American Society for Testing and Materials. And this uh, specifications document no, was uh, uh, documents were made by
by the CSI, American CSI or the Construction Specifications Institute. No? So ang dalawang to is yung uh, master format and the uni format. Ano yung difference ng dalawa? No? Kasi uh, baka some of you have encountered master format, some of you have encountered uni format. Master format is uh, it's like the Dewey Decimal System no? ng specifications. It is like the library no? ng uh, books for the construction. Whereas, yung uniformat, no? usually, ginagamit siya uh, pag natapos na yung project. No? During the... Uh, yung life cycle ng building. No? Uh, mas useful yung uniformat for the uh, testing, commissioning, no? and uh, uh, periodic maintenance no? ng mga materials and equipment that were placed in that project. Whereas in master format, no? uh, ang specifications na ito, ay uh, concentrated no, doon sa building material no, that will be supplied or will be installed doon sa project. No? So, uh, dinidescribe dito kung paano, saan bibilhin, no, anino bibilhin na supplier yung isang certain material, paano i-store, no, ano yung conditions ng storage niya, anong conditions during installation, ano pa yung mga uh, kasama niya na materials para siya ma-install properly no? during construction. So master format is widely used for uh, proposed construction projects whereas the uniformat compilation is used for uh, periodic maintenance and during the life cycle of the building. So why are technical specifications needed? No, e pwede namang, uh, pwede ba sa project uh, mag-turo-turo uh, na lang? No, total, meron namang project in charge na architect or engineer. No? Pwede bang turo-turo na lang sa foreman or sa mga skilled workers? No? The answer is no. Because technical specifications, uh, pinapasa yan kasama ng drawings before makostingan, before mag-quantity survey or mag-estimate for the project. No, kasi yung specifications nga will describe anong type ng material, no, anong product yung bibilhin for that project. No. So technical specifications is needed, number one, to project the construction cost no, ng project. Secondly, technical specifications is needed No, for quality control. Kung babalikan natin yung uh, material call-outs kanina, no, yung nasa gilid ng drawing, so uh, naka-call-out lang doon anong klaseng material ang gagamitin, pero hindi in-specify kung paano ba ikakapit yung material. Say for example, painting scope of works. No? Magpipaint ka ba kapag umuulan no, sa iyong project? So, there will be conditions na pwede, it will be allowed na mag-paint ka. Pero kung exterior yung pipintahan na surface, so, siyempre, pag taulan, hindi ka pwede nga pagpinta. No? So, doon yun, naka-underline, nakalagay, nakapaloob sa technical specifications document. So, it is a basis for the quality control no? or yung workmanship ng project. Third, it is needed for construction management. No, uh, you will manage uh, 
yung storage materials no saan ba i-store yung mga uh, dry goods lang saan i-store yung mga materials na uh, pwede namang ma-expose sa elements and uh, kailan ba paparatingin yung uh, material manggagaling ba ito overseas or manggagaling pa locally no so it is needed for construction management para i-project no? magawa ng maayos na work schedule at uh, yung delivery ng materials lastly no we need technical specifications because of what we are experiencing now sa change in the environment for energy efficiency no para mabawasan yung carbon footprint na na-generate ng mga buildings during the construction and also no kailangan natin ito so say for example yung glass yung glass kung si Rabi mo lang na double glaze yan on the uh, call out paano malalaman ngayon ng uh, supplier ng glass yung mga kasamang material pa netong glass so kailan ano bang uh, kung double glaze ano ba yung air fill vacuum ba or uh, double gas or argon fill ba yung mga mulyon yung mga weather strippings at kung uh, glass so these uh, descriptions are and should be included in the specifications and cannot be found in the drawing. So, sa master format, uh, the latest version is the 2014 kung uh, saan naging 17 divisions na siya. Pero what we are going to discuss is the uh, 2012 version no? kung saan 16 pa lang siya. No? And uh, ang nadagdag lang naman kasi dito sa 2014 version is the bid no? or tender documents. Pero same na same pa rin sila halos. No? With changes in, say, say for example, Division 6 na upgrade, wood, plastics, and composites. No? Whereas sa dating version, wood and plastics lang. So sinisingit lang dyan yung mga composite materials. And then uh, Division 8, pinalitan ang pangalan, lahat na ng openings or fenestrations. No? So dati sa 2012, doors and windows lang. Pero meron pang itong klaseng mga uh, openings. And then uh, Division 15, no? in upgrade then, Division 15 and uh, 16. So, ayun. Yung 2012 version kasi, mas madali siyang tantaan dito sa acronym no? na Gensit Ko Mame Votado Fit Sefs Komelek. So, the 16 divisions, the major divisions of the 2012 master format includes the general requirements, the uh, site construction or the existing conditions found in site, concrete, masonry, metals, wooden plastics, thermal and moisture protection, doors and windows, finishes, specialties, equipment, furnishings, special construction, conveying equipment, and then mechanical and electrical equipment. So uh, in our synchronous class, we will discuss yung difference in, in specifications writing, yung will and shall, yung difference nung dalawa. Kasi pag uh, gagamitin natin yung term na will, so this is only optional. Whereas sa uh, wordings, no, pag ginamit natin yung shall, so ibig sabihin, the constructor is 
obligated or obliged to follow your instruction. Whereas yung will, the constructor may propose his own methodology doon a methodology or may propose another material for the project. So we'll have a workshop on this, on specifications, right? And then, uh, in Pilipinas, how is specifications and, or how are materials uh, checked? No? Kung sa US, meron silang basis for construction materials, that would be the ASTM. Pero sa Pilipinas, we have the DNS no? or the Philippine National Standards that is implemented by the Department of Trade and Industry. So kung makikita nyo yung mga uh, important materials used in construction, meron silang patak no? carrying the ASTM logo and uh, my code doon nakatabi. Kunyari, ASTM 16E, yung mga ganyan. So yung code kung saan testing pumasa yung uh, material uh, that is specified doon sa testing no, ng ASTM. No? So sa atin, in the Philippines, yung mga local products natin, binibigyan sila ng uh, tatak no, or ng mark or ng special seal ng PNS. So they carry or they bear the uh, parks ng ICC no, or yung uh, merong BPS. So that should be all. Uh, I hope you have learned something today. Thank you and see you in our synchronous class.